Here in the guide sheet, you have instruction number one. It says stitch front to back at inner leg seams. On the side there, you'll see a picture that shows all three lengths of these pants, and it shows you exactly how to match them up, and it shows you where to stitch. You can always um, stitch at a 5 8 inch seam allowance unless it states otherwise. Let me just show this. I have my back piece here. The pattern is still on top of it. I'm going to take the pattern piece off of it. I don't need that. Other than now, this is the back piece. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to separate my two pieces and place them down with the right side up. Okay, right side being the pretty side. Okay, so there are my two back pieces. Okay, then I'm going to take my right side, or my, excuse me, my front side pieces and uh, take the pattern piece off of them. Okay, so there's my front, take that piece out. I'm going to separate these. Okay, and I'm going to place each one face down. You're going to be matching these notches that you cut out earlier. But it's the inside leg is what this is. Inside leg, so I'm matching that up. Okay, so if you don't have something that matches right there, that means you grabbed the wrong piece and you would need the other piece. Okay, so I'm matching that. I'm making sure that my edges are equal there. Okay, it's not going to match right here. It's not supposed to. Your back side is bigger than your front side. Okay, so I've matched that up. And then my other piece, I will also match up. I'm going to match these notches here. Okay. Hold that down. This is flannel, so it kind of sticks to itself. I'm going to match up all my edges. Okay, so this is the first seam that you're going to be sewing. Okay, again, if it doesn't match there, it's not supposed to. Okay, so I am going to put pins. Here, just like when you sew anything else in here and you're pinning something down, I'm going to put pins there. Okay, so I did pin everything down from the very top up there down to the bottom on both legs. This is the inner leg, the inside of your legs. I'm going to sew them on the machine with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. And I'll show you what that looks like on your machine. We're going to sew both of those seams. So when you sew this, you do want to make sure that you have an 8 dialed up on your stitch length here. Okay, this entire um, part of these pants use a 5 8 inch seam allowance until you get to sewing the place where your elastic goes and your hem. Okay, so to find your 5 8 seam allowance, it is all numbered up here, but if you remember, it is going to be the third line out. So it's going to be this one here. You're always going to want to keep that lined up here. If it's not lined up here for every seam, then you might have um, parts of your pants that don't fit together quite right. Okay. All right. So again, I am going to make sure that I line that up. Okay, it doesn't matter if you start down at the bottom or the top of the pant leg, but I am going to line this up to the 5 8 Okay, there I am lined up. And I'm going to start. I'm also going to make sure you do a back stitch on the beginning and the end of your seam and pull out your pins as you go. Okay, so you're going to do both pant legs just like this. With the 5 8 inch seam allowance and then after that we will press that seam open which I will show you as soon as I finish my two pant legs. So here is that seam all sewn up on one side. What I'm going to do now is just open up the total thing 
Okay, so this is the front sewn to sorry the front sewn to the back. This is just one. I have a second one. But what you want to do if you have an iron, which hopefully you do, is you want to open up this seam and press it open all the way. And then you're going to do the same thing with your other one. Now you're ready for step number two. These directions will never tell you to go press your seams open. That is something that you have to know to do. So uh, you did notice in step number one, it did not say sew then press. Step number two, it says with right sides together, pin center seam matching inner leg seams and notches. Stitch. Okay, you can see the picture right next to these words and it shows you exactly how you matched it and exactly how to stitch. Okay, here are my pieces pressed open. Uh, you'll notice I got a little edging stitch on the edge of this that is uh, from a serger. Okay, that helps um, your fabric not fray. I know you don't have these at home, um, but when you're here in class, it's a good idea to uh, serge the edges of your seams. Okay, so here's one of the two pieces I sewed. I'm actually going to place this face side up. Okay, right side up, and I'm going to place the other one on top of it, right side down. Okay, just like that. Okay, so what's actually going to happen here is we're going to be sewing this U shape right here. Okay, so I'm going to match my two okay. seams right here and put a pin in it. And then I'm going to match my notches. Okay, this is what those notches were cut out for. I'll go ahead and pin the rest of that. I'm going to match that notch to that notch. And then I'll pin the rest of that. So I have this entire U shape pinned. At this point, I am going to take it to the sewing machine using a 5 8 inch seam allowance. And I'm going to sew all the way around that U shape, and then I'm going to press that open as well. I sewed this U shape. I did go ahead and search it again, um, and I did press it. Now, this is a little challenging to press because there is a corner, or not a corner, but a curve. And again, if you have to finger press this, when you press it, you would just get this open, press all that down. When you get to the curve here, this is where it's going to be more challenging. If you're finger pressing, it's not quite as challenging, but just finger press that down. If you have an iron, you'll want to iron that down. And just, if you have an iron, just use the tip of it here so you're not crunching all this up together. Okay, and same here. Okay. So now we are on step number three. You'll see by the instruction, it simply says stitch front to back at side seams. Again, it shows the pictures of all three different lengths here, and it shows you where you're going to be stitching, matching your notches, and then doing your stitch at a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so if this is what you sewed, after you do that, if you open it up like this, okay, you've got everything. You've got one leg going off that way. You've got one leg going off that way. These little short sides are your waist. Okay, so if you open it up kind of like that, and we get a, a long shot of it, kind of like that. Okay, everything's just kind of splayed apart at this point. Okay, from here, if you grab this here and grab this here, these are your two waists. Okay, I'm going to bring this back waist up under that center to meet the other waist. Okay, so that is a little bit of a strange challenge, but eventually you're going to get it 
to look like pants, just like that. Okay, so I will do that again. Okay, if you have this splayed out like this, these little short sides right here are your waist here. This is your other waist right there. Okay, so front, back, leg, leg. Okay, so I'm going to take these two and meet them, basically. So if I kind of pull between here and here, I'll pull it up like that. It kind of wants to match at that point. And there I've got two legs. You want them inside out because you still got to sew another seam. Okay, so there's my two pant legs. And the next thing I'm going to do is take this, you're gonna zhuzh it over a little bit to make sure you match your edges of your fabric. Okay, so you might have to actually move it. It's not gonna lay there magically. And you're going to pin it. And you'll see I've got notches up here, so they're gonna match as well. Okay, just wanna make sure that your edges of your fabric are even there. Okay, I'm going to pin it down that one leg, pin it down this other leg, and then I'm going to sew it five eighths of an inch down each leg. Once you've sewn up the sides of your legs, uh, make sure you press it down. Now, when you press it down, if you have an ironing board, you can slip the ironing board probably in the pants, or you can just put it like that and press it down flat. Uh, if you don't have the iron, that's fine too. Um, you know, finger pressing it down helps a lot. Okay, so I've got both sides stitched up. The last couple of steps we're going to do will be in part three. That will be finishing off the top of this here, putting some elastic in it. So we're going to fold this down and put um, what's called a casing in this area here for your elastic and then we have to do the hem which is the bottom where you turn the edges up to finish it off. And this is where we'll make it a custom length just for you.